what's up y'all my name is bill and this is how i do it today i'm coming back at you with another video and today we're working on the craftsman dyt 4000 with the intec twin 24 horsepower overhead cam engine in it uh this is a beast of a lawn tractor from yesteryear one of my favorites man it has an electric clutch on it and that's why i'm here today clutch is not engaging or the pto isn't engaging so um, we'll run a little diagnostic on it just to make sure that the electric PTO is getting power or not getting power. So let's go for it. All right. So the first thing that we got to do, we're going to check and uh, check for power going to the clutch. I'm going to take this hood off. All right. Got the bulbs out. Let's just cut this zip tie off. Holding the bulbs on. Here. Now that this side of the way, we can start diagnosing this uh, clutch. All right, now we can pull out our probe. Man, I love this thing, man. This thing right here is amazing. All right, so what we do, we'll hook it up to our battery. Red goes to positive, black goes to negative. And power's on. Hook up our probe part. 12 volts going to that. I know we got power. The switch is working. We know that. So we close the switch. No power going to it. That part is working. So now. We got to see if the clutch is working because that's what's really going on here. The clutch isn't engaging. You hear it click and it's supposed to magnetize and that's what therefore turns the PTO. So I got it disconnected. See what we can do is supply 12 volts to this and make it do what it's supposed to do. It's not doing anything. So, I'm gonna take this clutch off. I can't see it, there go the underside right there. So that's the underside of the clutch right here. Yeah, 17 millimeter it is. got it that got it all right i got that out all right let's take this off you notice i didn't uh, take off the belt or anything like that i guess i could have but i don't think you could, it had to so let's get this thing off of here all right here's the bolt over there for now and let's get this PTO off bam just like that it's out of there boom Now we got the clutch out. And I just wanted to see if there might have been some kind of a breakage, but it's no breakage or anything like that. So this thing really is messed up. Okay, okay, okay. I got a lot of explaining to do for the upcoming clips of this video. Okay, on this picture right here I already have the clutch reinstalled I'm explaining in the next clip what happened 
but I also want to explain how I installed the clutch back. Um, as you've seen in the the uninstall, I just it's a 17 millimeter bolt. So what you got to do, you put everything back up there. It's a keyway on um, the adapter on the lawnmower, and it's also the the clutch itself is keyed. And I'm gonna show you a picture of how that's done. All you gotta do is line it back up, put your put your belt on, line it back up, and the issue comes in is when you have to torque it down. I'm gonna put the torque specs up here. What you gotta do, you gotta take off the crankshaft cover on the top of the engine, and basically you gotta have a wrench holding that bolt and your torque wrench on the clutch bolt, and basically that's how you torque it. Okay, guys, I'm back, and I gotta show y'all what happened uh, with this PTO clutch. It's gonna be something. It it was kind of unbelievable for me. You see this connector right here? This is the end to the clutch itself. Okay, you see the negative lead? Well, I guess I don't think it matters what which wire goes to what, but it's, I'm just call this the negative lead. Um, you see the negative lead right here? You can see it. All right, the positive lead right here. You can't see it, and you see it sticking out of the bottom of the connector. Well, this connector um, malfunctioned, and it pushed down. I guess what happened was something pulled this wire down, and it's not making a thorough connection. So I tried my best to try to fix it, but it wasn't no fixing it. Also, when I used my probe to supply 12 volts to the clutch to see if it was working, there was a plastic piece that came off inside of the connector that stopped the probe from making contact with the leads. So I had that working against me. This clutch is working perfectly fine. So what I ultimately had to do was redo the wiring and make my own connector. Um, that's ultimately what ended up happening. I take these wires and I pushed them on here and I had to redo the wiring on the clutch itself. I hope this can get the wiring. I'm gonna turn the key so you can hear the PTO click. Hear that? Boom. Works perfectly. I think I'm gonna end up doing, I'm gonna end up wrapping this connector up and wrapping all of that up so it'll be, be secure. But it's secure as is, but I wanna try to not let dust and stuff get in there so i'm gonna wrap it up real good i might even put a um uh, some shrink wrap over it you know because as of right now i got tesla tape all on the actual wires and stuff that's the that ultra heat tape you know made for um engine harnesses and stuff so um might put a little bit on here you know everything should be good to go all right here we go with pto
Okay, that just about wraps this video up. Just to recap what we did today, the customer brought in his lawn tractor. PTO clutch wasn't engaging. What we discovered was that the connector had malfunctioned. Uh, could I have done this without taking off the PTO clutch? Yes, but I didn't know at the time. And who would have guessed that a piece of plastic had got in between the lead and the lead had pulled down for some reason and the probe actually wasn't making contact to the lead to supply at 12 volts. I mean, no way you could have thought about that. But anyway, we redid that connector, got it back, put together. Everything's working fine now. My name's Bill and this is how I do it.